Hey everybody, Hidden Object Guru here with another Zombie Night Terror Challenge Guide. Uh, this time it's No Mercy, Kill All Humans and Level Lockdown. One of the longest and most fiddly levels in the entire game, but uh, it's entirely doable. Now you may be wondering, hey, why is he setting up a zombie trap right at the beginning? I'll tell you why. Because it's possible to accidentally beat this level while you're trying to kill all the humans. And my goal is to stop that. So as you can see... They're not shooting at me anymore, so we're going to have to go shut down that technology. All right, so now we've got two infection vectors to deal with. Uh, we need the running zombie, so we're going to use this as infection vector one. Uh, he's going to go collect that for us, and this lady here will be infection vector two. Because we need uh, a whole bunch of zombies down here and to be able to work as a crawler. Ah, now that she's got speed, she should be able to take out these guys way more easily. See? All right, now here's where things get a little annoying. Uh, to keep them from wandering off, just uh, set here. Now you'll see this elevator goes up and down. The only way to get to this next room is when the elevator's down. So be prepared to use a speed zombie to make that happen. Come on, you can do it. You're the best. All right, now, all right, don't worry about it. We might be able to run right past this, but Maybe not. Yep, we did it. As long as you run past there, you can defeat the gun no trouble at all. Well, I mean, it still takes a while. It is a gun. Alright, so now you just turn this guy into a crawler and we get up there. And then we're going to hit the next super annoying fiddly part, but bear with me. Alright, so we jump up here. Okay. Uh, we kill these guys. Hopefully without the elevator coming back. Oh, good. If he had gone through the elevator, that would have been really annoying to get him back. You gotta get trapped over there. It's a whole ordeal. Alright, so now look how this gun is facing. Uh, if you look closely, you can see the barrels are facing right. We have to climb up there and destroy it when the barrels are facing left. Uh, luckily, we've got the speed so we can turn him into a speedy climber. The barrels are facing left. Alright, so let's uh, hope we can get up there before that becomes an issue. Uh, let's make you jump first. Other side. Speedy climbing. We should have just enough time to destroy it before it turns around and kills us. Yep. That was close, though. Uh, honestly, you want to be already climbing when it turns left, but in the essence of time, that actually worked out pretty well. All right. Uh, next challenge. Uh, he's just going to kill everybody here. It's not a challenge, per se. Alright, uh, you send him down here. You send the rest of these guys up here. Oh wait, he keeps running no matter what he does. For, forget I said that. Uh, let this guy walk past. And then send the rest of them up there. And then we'll uh, just monitor this guy's activity. Alright. Uh, the red clouds in there can of course kill you quite easily. So try to zip through this room as fast as you can. See, it just killed her. You didn't even have to touch her. Uh, zip through. Done. Uh, she will turn into a zombie soon enough, I think. Ah, crap. There we go. I got him to turn around. That would have been very embarrassing. Alright, uh, what's going on over here? Oh, I almost lost this guy. Yeah, what you wanted to do with him, I got distracted over there, sorry about that, is turn him into a crawler and jump him immediately up here and have him destroy this, which uh, takes out the sentry guns, which is awesome. So no more sentry guns to worry about. All right, so now it's just a question of setting up an explosion to get rid of this guy. All right, and then uh, killing all these guys. Well, one guy. Uh, now here's a minor, not too fiddly, but, you know, something you have to do. Aim that guy that way. Yeah. See, the reason in the first place uh, that I set all these guys into a trap right here is once you turn off the lasers and the cannons just through the course of the level, your guys will just kill all of these guys eventually. Like, the, the sheer wave of your number of guys is going to kill all of them. All right, so we're going to send a few of these guys down, but not all of them yet in case we need some backup. So that's four guys. That should be plenty to get this job done. So what you want to do is turn him into a thrower, throw a guy across there, blow him up in midair, and then when he's blown up in midair, 
uh, sorry, not blow up him up in midair, have him hit the ground, right? And literally, the moment he hits the ground uh, and collects the tank juice, set him to blow up. All right, so let's set one of these guys to run. And we're gonna do that. So he jumps, he flies, he flies, he flies. I didn't throw him at the right angle. All right, they did it. So set him up to be a runner. All right, good, now blow up. Problem solved, we've got the tank juice, we've got almost full DNA. And as you can see, uh, by doing this, nearly everybody in the level's already dead. Like this has been going really well. Uh, so let's get, are you gonna make it there? Cause that would be great. You know what, let's just turn you into a runner to make sure you get there. You ran right through. I'm not good at this. Anyway, uh, we can speed this along a little by getting these guys to go down here. So let's have all these guys go down here into this water pit. And then something, I'm gonna, spoiler alert, something super fun is gonna happen. Or at least moderately fun. Like, two thirds of a fun is gonna happen. All right, so that's all four guys down here at the bottom. Now, here's what you have to do. See that there? You have to wait until that starts moving up to the top level. So, turn one of your guys into a uh, goon. And here it comes. All right. Now, hopefully we can make it through. No, we cannot. All right. That was annoying. Uh, all right. Well, I, I royally messed that one up. The idea is to send him charging through that, but now I'm just gonna have to send him charging normally. Uh, luckily, we can afford to sacrifice a couple of our uh, pointers, because we're not using them anymore, and uh, we don't need you anymore, obviously. Uh, hi, did I, no, I did set him off. All right, so uh, let's get him ready to charge, so these guys don't get killed. There we go, all right. Ow, poor guy. Uh, so yeah, we just have to, Oof. Like, what's the best move here? Do I make another goon? Do I send in a guy from the other direction? Oh, good. We finally got a chance to send in a guy from the other direction. Alright, we're going to keep the goon locked up there and keep checking back to see. Because if he's walking in this direction when it comes up, it's easy as pie to just have him finish the uh, job. Uh, okay. Is he going to make it through? He's not. Alright. Yeah, uh, I did not do that entirely right. No, I don't think you can run that far. Uh, but can you? I neglected to keep uh, enough energy left to scream. So that was just a waste of a guy. Oh, uh, this is going less well than I'd hoped. Nope, I had that sense. All right, so what was I supposed to be doing? Yes, uh, getting this guy up here. I will do it right this time. And I apologize for all of the uh, weight. Send him to run. Make him scream. Then you... Oh, crap. He, uh... Hmm. I promise I used to be better at this. <laughs> well, we're gonna get there. Alright, she's not dead. What is happening to me? Oh my god. Um, yeah, this is really bad. I'm actually running out of... Come on. Yes, okay. Stay trapped. Um, get all of your DNA back. Uh, if you didn't make all of the fatal mistakes the way I did, I think I've guided you through how this needs to get done, largely. And that time I just didn't scream at all. Alright, I've got 23. That should be plenty. Get in there, please. Should I vector her? What am I doing? I'm just gonna vector her. There, you're vectored. Done. Problem solved. Kill that other lady and turn into a creeper so you can kill the guy in the next room as well. Ooh, that was pretty embarrassing. Oh, hey, look. Um, no, it's still not good for the tank, but maybe I can create a tank in that amount of time? No, I can't. Well, maybe I've doubled my chances of this actually working at some point in the future. Uh, that guy fell through the floor. I think we all saw that and were upset by it. Wow, she really recovers from screaming fast. 
All right, well, I wasted a bunch of DNA, but the job got done. Yeah, I just can't line this guy up. It's very strange. Okay. Maybe this is it. Is this it? Uh, I should probably make sure I have enough DNA to actually turn him into one. Alright, here we go. We waited and we waited and it finally happened. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was trying to do all along. We got one infection, <laughs> infection vector left. Use it on him. I'm sorry this took 10 minutes, everybody. You saw all of my mistakes. Obviously, you could do more cleanly. I've shown you in broad strokes the tricks you need to use to get this done. So now let's just finish the level and collect our thing. Take one last scan to make sure there's nobody survive. I forgot to get the extra infection vector. Wow, that would have made my life so much easier. So yeah, that's another way to make this... Uh, level way easier than I made it look. Uh, now, you know what to do. Create this guy. Dust your other uh, ones to get some of the money back. And then the second these guys wake up, they woke up, charge. Level over. Alright, uh, that is my ridiculously lengthy 10 minute way of beating this level in the fastest way possible. You know, we got the challenge. Hopefully I helped. And uh, if you need help with any other levels, just check out other items on the playlist. Thanks. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Like and subscribe. Oh my god.